Yo, yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Beezy B, and I'm back once again with another reaction video. Oh, I got some in my eye. All right, I'm good. Yeah, man, before we get into this video, man, y'all like, comment, subscribe, and y'all hit that bell so y'all know when I'm posting because this is not going to stop. I'm in you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm in you. Today, everybody getting to a certified goon. Judge Joe Brown get cussed the hell out. I'm leaving. Fuck you. Ooh. I had to see this one. I ain't gonna lie. I was about to just watch it, but then I thought about it. I was like, man, I'm gonna just put it on the reaction channel. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna see what it's hitting for. So that's why we here. Let's get into it. I'm trying to see uh I'm trying to see Judge Joe Brown curse somebody out or get cursed. I don't know. One of the two. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. I didn't go to Vegas to party. Well, what'd you go there for? Gamble? That's none of your business. Well, oh yes, it is. <laughs> Uh, oh, he started off bad. So come on, bro. Be a fifty dollar, uh, hundred dollar assessment for impertinence. Now, hundred dot. Bam, hundred dollars. You want to get cute with me? You want to tell me the you truth? Wanna get cute with me? <laughs> you be, you being real cute. <laughs> That's you another hundred dollar assessment. Come on. I said two hundred real. Bam, two hundred. So this, this, he tripping though, cause. Man, look, as a man, a black man in this America, you better you better respect authority. Especially when you go in the courtroom, you got this Judge Joe Brown, the older black man, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you were going there acting all cute and shit, like, people don't think that's funny, bro. I mean, we do think it's funny, but you look stupid, you know what I'm saying? You stop before I bust you badly, son. Don't disappoint your mother. Oh, you want to be like that? Bring the witness in. Yeah, bring the witness. That's your ass, Mr. Postman. <laughs> now, swear the witness in, please, Madam Sonia, if you would. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, stay quiet. Man, this dude tripping, son. I'm, I'm not. I'm not even about to lie. He tripping. Like, you trying too hard to just be cool, bro. That's not how you be cool, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's that's shit. No, not in court. I'll Not in here. court. You promise to tell the truth in all matters before this court. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. No. He looks scared. <laughs> yeah, please state your full name for the record. Uh, I'm William Winston. Are you acquainted with the two individuals to your left? Yes, sir. Are mm. you acquainted with the young man on the far left? Yes, sir. Mm. Where do you know him from? Uh, Linwood. <laughs> all right, now, are you familiar with... So this nigga cannot stop laughing, bro. He just laughing about everything. Come on, son. The subject matter of this proceeding. Yes, sir. Now, uh, do you have anything to add to this? I was in the car with him. Who's him? Uh, Brandon. Well, Copyright. Left, uh, you left the motorcycle club. Where were you guys? Oh. Um, it's funny because, like, he doing all this shit, bro, and everybody ignoring him. Ain't nobody listening to nothing. Like, you laughing and shit. Everybody just listening. You know what I'm like? Man, nobody, everybody listening to... The witness talk. Nobody listening to you talk or laugh or, you know, try to act all hard. Nobody even paying you no mind, bro. So that's a sign right there to stop. <laughs> you make, you're digging yourself in a hole. You already got paid $200 and you're laughing. When the fuck you gonna stop? Maybe it's like Redondo. Okay, what's the name of the club? Uh, the Red Breed. The Motorcycle Club. Yes, sir. Go ahead. When we left the Motorcycle Club, I got in the car with Antonio. All right. I left, we got in the car, we left. I asked him if he could take me home. I stopped, and then I uh, I asked Brandon. Copyright. He can take me home. So Brandon was gonna take me to my house. So uh, I got out the car with Antonio. When I get up in the car with Brandon, he driving real fast, speeding. I believe it. <laughs> this dude, like, he don't give a damn about nothing, son. Like, about nothing, like. The wrong side of the street. When we get on Imperial, I'm telling them, like, slow down because there ain't no airbags in the back seat. The passenger, right. the passenger that was in the car with us, uh, I don't believe he had on no seatbelt, so I was in the back seat. And uh, he, he, uh, he didn't want to stop. He didn't want to stop uh, speeding. So we... Now you just got his head down. He ain't saying shit. When shit hit the fan, you going to see who ain't your man. <laughs> to Imperial and Broadway, um, Antonio, he got, he turned, he made a right on, um, onto Broadway. Then made a got in the turning lane to make that left and go back up Imperial, but Brandon, it was a red light. It was a red light on Broadway and Imperial. So Brandon, he he likes copyright. He swung lanes and got in the turning lane and ran the red light, and that's when he struck his car, struck Antonio's car. 
when he gonna learn? All right, so you're not listening to him. You said like, slow down, you know what I'm saying? Stop speeding, you, you're running red lights and shit. You didn't smack a nigga call. Now you in court for it, you wrong, and you don't want to shut up. You already owed him like $200. We owe the judge, the court, whatever you want to call it, you owe $200 because you ain't know how to shut up. But, man, let's go, man. Right, after <laughs> the Lord. accident, did you notice what this young man and the other person were doing or you were doing? Yeah, uh, the car the car stopped in the middle of uh, Imperial and Broadway. They, we, got, we got out the car, looked at the car. I know y'all realize, man, look. Boy, them clippers ate a nigga ass, man. All right, back to the video. Total, the rental was total. Um, Brandon told the passenger to uh, look in the car for the um, look in the car for the liquor that was in the car or whatever. The, uh, he um, called his mom. He told his cousin that he was gonna call his mom and tell his mom that his that the rental got stolen. But then and it was a rental. He was thinking like, why are you gonna tell your mom that your rental got stolen and you was, your fingerprints was the last ones on the car? Right. So, his, one of his friends, his one of his friends pulled up. He jumped in the car with his friend, told his mama the little the little situation, and I guess that made the uh, police report about the stolen car. But the whole time the car wasn't stolen. We'll be back this morning. He just look at the, that nigga face. So he just look like I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. Like he just look like he don't give a fuck. Like you know what I'm saying? Like. You done did all this and you just don't give a fuck. Like how? You didn't wreck a rental or some shit that's not that's not even your car. Like I, if that was your car, I understand. I don't understand. But if it's your car, you know, that's your fault. You paid for the bitch. You fucked it up. That's your loss. But a rental that's not even in your name? Come on, son. Joe Brown. So you ain't like that in court. With rental vehicles that you've wrecked. Yes, sir. That's me. Oh, you might clear it up. Sir, what doesn't make sense to me is this. If there was an accident that occurred, why weren't the police notified? They were. When? I have a report right here. You hit a call and you ran a red light, bro. I'm pretty sure. Um, and then y'all filed the, uh, uh, y'all said that the rental was stolen or something like that. So I know for a fact that the police was notified. Especially you hit a call. You ran a red light, you were speeding. I'm pretty sure it wasn't just no little tap. You know what I'm saying? You hit the fuck out that car. They probably was hurt. Their car was fucked up. Yeah, they called the cops, bro. That's the report you made. No, not at all. My report was made that the night of requesting. The night of requesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me see. Can you read what it say? I hear what I'm talking about. Unknown store. What? Unknown store. Locked vehicle. So you try to say the vehicle was locked and somebody stole it. Yeah, well, how is it that you were at the same club they were at, the vehicle your mother rented got ripped off from that club and it just happened to strike them? Right. I have no clue. Because you're lying. I'm not lying about anything. Son, I have all you're my lying. You're lying. You don't want to listen you're to You're lying. Don't try to break this out. You're not going to. Stupid. This mama looking at him like saying like You know what I'm saying? She's looking at him like shut the fuck up. Like I raised you better than that. You won't be walking too far without a warrant for your arrest. There's also an ongoing right. investigation for felony hit and run, and we've got enough to bust you right here. Right. All right so shut your ass up. That's all I'm it's asking. not your line. Be I'm a asking. man. I ain't gonna lie. That situation, right? That's all you would have to say, right? I'm shutting the fuck up. Because I done dig myself in a hole. You talking about a felony hit and run. You got evidence to book me right here. I'm having a warrant for my arrest before I even walk out the courtroom, so I can't even go home. Man, look, shut the fuck up, please. I'm a man. Oh, you, you're not. You got your hands in your pockets. Yeah, well, my body, body language. language. You know what that means? You know what that means? I know what my body me. language is saying. I will enlighten you. Know, when you got your hands in your pocket and you sitting there talking smack, son, that's, that's not no respect. Especially for an old man, man. Old men, son, you, you look them dead in the eyes. Like, you look them dead in the eyes, and your body language is everything with an older man, son. How you present yourself, everything. You, when you shake their hand, you grip that bitch firm. You know what I'm saying? That's all respect. 
He ain't got no respect for nobody. Banish some of your ignorance. Now your mother deals with probationers, parolees, and she's listening to you, and she's not even looking at you because she's listening to your tone. You sound just like the people she probably deal with. You know what I'm saying? And by the way, been having problems before. Your mother is disappointed with you. You're 24. How old are you? 24 years old. You ought to be doing something. 24 years old doing it. Come on, man. Here, trifling and carrying on like you lost your trifling. mind instead of being a man. Watch your mouth, man. Your house, my mouth? He called me out of my name, but I can't speak to him. I won't. What's up? Because I'll jack you up. What's One happening? One way or the other. What, what look, happened? Look, for, I don't know what you want. Well, you know Judge Joe Brown used to be a fool? Yeah. Go there. <laughs> look, you first your mother's position is a sworn official. I'm thinking of sending this case to the DA. I didn't do it. With a letter. I'm leaving. No, you ain't. Oh, whoa, another hundred. I tell you what. He said I'm leaving. Fuck you. Man, somebody teach this man some manners, bro. I'm sending it. Send it. You got all my information, and you, you right here. Excuse me. Under arrest, terroristic threats, and an official. You under arrest. For ter, where you was under arrest? For terroristic. I'm sending it. Send it. You got all my information, and you, you right here. Excuse me. Under no. arrest, terroristic no. threats in an official position. I, I, I just... Terroristic threats in an official. What you said, position? Shoosh. Yeah, you done fucked up, son. You should just walk your happy ass out of there. You should have shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sure that's what everybody was thinking the whole time. Like, son, just shut the fuck up. Like, it could go in your favor. I mean, it really won't. You got too much evidence that you did do the hit and run. You know what I'm saying? But you're trying to lie about it. Just shut the fuck up, like. You can't say fuck you in court, son, especially not to the judge. Like, wait, how do you even think that's right? To use some language like that in court to the judge. Now, if you was, if you was, uh, now if you was right, you know what I'm saying, you wasn't the defendant, let's say you was the plaintiff, and... You really isn't a right. And you making your clear points across and the judge is fucking you. It's still not right to curse him out, but at least you kind of got a legitimate reason to speak your mind. He don't even have no legitimate reason to speak his mind. You the defendant, you never shut the fuck up yet, and you're wrong, you're lying. And then you're cursing out the judge. First off, you owe the judge 200 because you ain't want to shut up. And now you're getting arrested because you want to sit there and call, echo a horror cause thirst. Come on, man. No, I, That's I, what I said. I'm not threatening nobody. He's trying to brazen it out. Ma'am, I apologize to you. I was trying to help him out by giving him a last chance to confine himself. And I could tell, too, he did not want to do that to that boy, son. But the truth, he misstated material facts that go to the ultimate issue in controversy. Now, he needs to clean himself up. Man. I ain't lying, bro. I fuck with this video, bro. Certified goon. Judge Joe gets cussed the hell out. I'm leaving. Fuck you. I like that video. That dude, man, don't respect you. Don't respect authority. Don't disrespect authority and don't disrespect your elders. Especially not no black person. If you black, then you know. Don't do that. You know for a fact not to do that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all hit that bell if y'all... I messed up. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell so y'all know when I'm posting because this shit is not going to stop. I'm in here, and I'm not getting out of here. But look, man, y'all comment down below. Y'all let me know if I should keep doing, like, judge videos and stuff like that because I'm not just going to keep doing music videos, you know? I'm going to try to break off and do a little something. I'm still going to be doing music videos, but I'm doing other stuff too, you know what I'm saying? So y'all comment down below. Let me know if y'all like this judge video. I did a UFC fight earlier. I posted, like, 12 o'clock or something like that. Y'all let me know if y'all like that one. Because if y'all like this, I'm going to keep doing them. It's, 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 it's nothing. It's a lot more entertaining than music videos. I can say that. So, yeah. Like I always say, man, I'm in you, but at the same time, I'm out of you.